After last week, I had to go a different direction with a video, but this video right here is false apostle, false prophetess, Liberty Turnip Seed. I want you to take a look at this clip really quick that I want to show you because I had to kind of tweak the video and I'm moving stuff around trying to edit it and do whatever, but I want you to see this clip first because I'm going to add another clip within the commentary of this video, and then we will discuss things and you put it in the commentary and let me you know your thoughts. Trump be in office and he said he's the only one that is going to have the ability to fix the mess his business mind his economic ability all that is going to be necessary to fix america after the mess that's coming and as we know at that time we were in the middle of the pandemic mess and so who knew it would be what it is now even a bigger mess because the administration that's in there i released a prophecy about them go back and watch it they're deranged and there's a perverse spirit. At Some work. of you may know of uh, Liberty. They call it Pastor Liberty Turnip Seed, but now she's an apostle, Apostle Liberty Turnip Seed. And her story was featured on 700 Club. And don't get me started about the 700 Club because those of you that's followed me a long time might remember. I made a video where I titled it, God Showed Up in my room and I'll put that in the end of this video if you want to watch it because it's a testimony it's before I came to the Lord but it was a time when I was uh, the night I was about to commit suicide because I was I've been suicidal since I was 10 years old okay, you know, I, my motto always was I'm just going to take my life and go join my mother because of the way my life was and I was down and out and, and it was this time, but when I was running the streets and hanging with the wrong crowd and getting high and acting crazy and uh, uh, drugs and everything, I would come home in the middle of the night and the 700 Club would be on. And I would just be watching it and listening to these testimonies. Now, I know I don't agree with Pat Robinson and some of his crazy wackiness and over that, that stuff, but there is good people there that works with the ministry. But they played a major role in leading me to the Lord because I would listen to these testimonies and all of this great stuff that the Lord was doing for these people. And I would started getting more depressed because I would watch these testimonies and one, finally one night as I was writing my suicide note and I'm talking to the Lord like, well, you know, what makes them better than me? What I've watched all these testimonies and how you've changed people's lives and done all of these things for them. What makes them better than me? And I told, I recall, I was called out tonight. That guy, I said, I said, I don't want to destroy myself. I don't want to die. I don't want to keep living like this. I can't stop snorting cocaine. I can't stop, you know, chasing after money and, and women and all this crazy stuff. I, I don't want to live like this. And, and I said, if you love me so much, why would you let me destroy myself? Why would you let me do this? And, and I went on and on, long story short, this his Shekinah glory. I mean, this light, this begin and breeze begin to show up in my room. And instantly I fell to my knees. That's why I know that scripture is true. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess Jesus is Lord. It was just something automatically that happened. I was this like, I was crying and I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry. And all of this. And, and I'm going on and on and, 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 you want to hear more about that, watch the video. But long story short on that, years later here, I had an opportunity to 700 Club. I, they wanted to hear my uh, testimony possibly to be showcased on the program. So I get a call from the guy and somebody that's on the board or something. He's talking, he's asking all the information and this and that. And then at the end, he's like, okay, I told him I'm in between trying to find a church home. I need a church home and all of that. And when he got to that part, well, he got, well, you need a pastor. And you supposed to be in a church. And I mean, started like tongue lashing me. Here I am trying to share my test, you know, what God has done for me. And I felt like it would be a blessing if I was on the program. And well, he's, well, I got to talk to the board and, and we'll see. And all of that. And never heard from them again. I get no, I got an email. We're sorry, blah, blah, blah. And all of that. So they didn't want to hear my story. But yet, you will get someone like this Liberty. And there's been many others that have been showcased on there. And they're false prophets, false teachers. And they're out there actively right now. 
So that's what, you know, that, that, that's, that's a problem. And this is another, whole nother issue of why I talk about hateful Christians, hateful church people, all of that, that, that could have pushed me away. But let's continue on. You know, you, it's a powerful testimony. It looks great. And it looks like she was on track, but we've talked about her before and she has prophecies and dreams nonstop like all these other people, all of these doomsday. She's been suspended there on YouTube for saying something crazy about Canada. And that's, it goes on and on, but she's made a new video and look at this. I mean, listen to what you're about to hear and then you'll see. So I've had many words about Trump since then. Just God showing me where he's at, uh, prayers he needs, um, how God wants to use him. I have actually started writing a, a prophetic book about Trump. It's not like, oh, Trumpism. It's not like that. I felt like God told me to write a book about what he has shared with me about the purpose for Trump and the whole thing around the Trump stuff. Okay. Prophetically speaking, what God is same doing. old thing. You see that the same old thing. Back to the Trump stuff, back to the dreams. Now she's writing a book. And when you go to her website, look at this on her website. She sells anointed oil, snake oil is what I call it. Snake oil salesman. That's what it is. This is, you see, this is the kind of stuff that goes on. And she travels all around. She has these pop up tent services and do all of this stuff where these people come along and, and, and uh, uh, this false uh, prophet, prophetess is just going around and people go to these events and she's just running around traveling and, and doing all kinds of stuff in the name of the Lord, saying the Lord told me this, Lord told me that. This is the kind of danger that we're in, the dangers in society. As I told you, they come to your town. You know, I would only recommend if you are a seasoned believer, I mean, a seasoned, seasoned believer and, and, and rooted in the word, go just check it out. Because I know if they come to here, they come to town here, I'm going to show up. I might be in disguise, but I'm showing up because I want to see, see like what, what the heck, you know, how these people are and just to see. And, and maybe I have a hidden camera on when I'm in there just so that I could show you. Because I'm telling you, these folks, man, it's, it, they're like I said, they're on a, on a tour. They're on an American world tour, running around with decept a tour of deception, bringing people in under the tent. Because a lot of this stuff is pop-up tent services, is what it is. And it's crazy. And they're renting conference rooms at hotels and, and coming, to, you know, and all of this stuff. And they want you to come. And they want you to come join them. They want to lay hands on you. And I tell you before, you better not let one of these people lay hands on you because you're inviting trouble. If you allow one of them to lay hands on you, you do not want to do that. Trust me, you do not want one of these false prophets or prophetesses or whoever they call themselves to put their hands on you. Don't allow them demons to enter your home and call, wreak havoc because they ain't nothing but being controlled by the enemy himself. And we'll continue to call it out on this channel and expose any types of false craziness that is going on out there. My name is Maurice Braxton, Evangelism for God is the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing, hit like, coming along for the journey. Because we talk about the issues that the church want to run away from and expose Satan and his devices and punch him right in between the chops. Until the next video, my friend, take care. God bless.